Shrugs, yay. Hello. I started one minute early today. I don't make up for the time I started late last time, huh? You have like seven puzzle ideas and none of them are finished. Yeah, I, you know, I'll probably have like a bonus stream, Shrugs, where you can uh, show me some of your puzzles. You have to let me know. But I mean, you're usually in my chat, right? So you can probably let me know when you have a bunch of puzzles you want me to play. But yeah, here's Baba is you, but you probably knew that already. <laughs> so we'll see if today is the day. Does today the day I'll finally finish this game? Maybe. All right, we're gonna start the game. We're gonna go on new adventures. Yeah, and maybe at the end of this, I'll show you the the solution to my puzzle that people were stuck on. Turn it up a little. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Today has not been my day, that's for sure. I mean, my car went that. <laughs> oh, it's Bobby's you question mark. <laughs> Uh, yep, <laughs> Shrugs ran out of, ran out <laughs> you, you, when you say you're joking, you're being like, wait a minute, why did I say that, huh? That's funny. But yeah, I, my car, my car battery went kaput today, so I had to get a new one. And then on the way there, I slipped and fell on the ice, and so now my butt hurts, so that's been my day. <laughs> I hope your day was slightly less painful. Okay, so what do I want to attempt first? I know I solved a few of these off stream. I don't think I solved this one yet, but I think I know the answer to this now. So this puzzle is pretty cool. Yeah, I was stuck on this for a long time, but honestly, I thought the solution was kind of neat. So what did I come up with? So essentially, the idea I had was something about like sending this bird. I forget which one I sent out of the bird or the rocket first. It went kaput. Yep, <laughs> it go kaput. Yeah, it actually does get used in English. No, that is what I said, Carl. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it gets, it gets used in English. I mean, you know how English is, right? It's just... Uh, ooh, I like that word. Let me borrow it, huh? That's basically English in a nutshell, huh? Like all the French words we have. But yep, <laughs> it went kaput. Apparently it was not only all its last legs, it was like it had, it had run out of legs completely and it was like crawling on its belly. <laughs> That's the state my battery was in. I don't know how the car even started, to be honest. I had to get a jump today. But yep, we got a new battery, it's all good. Also, hi Carl, I hope you're doing well today. So the idea was that we sent something in here, and then I actually used pull to bounce it off. Let's see, now, what, one of these can't touch the UFO, which one is it? The rocket can't touch the UFO or it dies. But yeah, it basically involved like kind of deflecting it off. So I'm gonna, let's move the bur bird a while. All right, let's go, birdie. This bird, it's so cute. I don't know why I think that, but <laughs> just its blank expression, maybe. All right, so we want to be good about this. So let's make it so the bird will can pull this rocket along. I guess we'll see if I remember how I actually did this. I'm surprised I didn't see it. It wasn't super complicated, but... And you know how it's gonna be. Alright, so we don't want it to pull yet. We need to, like, time it. Yeah. I mean... It took... It took... <laughs> it took me... How long did it take me? Probably at least an hour total. Yep. I mean, the puzzle doesn't seem that hard, but I guess... There's so many, like, wrong ways to do it that seem like they might work, right? Okay. So now I need to stop the bird from moving at the opportune time. You always thought these timing things were interesting, like coordinating all this stuff. <laughs> Took like five. Oh, when you gave up on whatever plan. I mean, I've done that so many times, haven't I? Where I'm just like, I feel like this plan has to work. It has to be out to be done, but no. And then it turns out to be something completely different. <laughs> it can be hard to give up on, on a concept that seems like it could be right. I mean, generally you don't want your puzzle to have too many of those, I feel like. You want to make sure that... Alright, there we go. We got them both out and we haven't lost any resources. Like, I find it's good in a puzzle that you want to make sure there's not too many, like, false avenues or red herrings or else your player's just going to get stuck for a while. I guess that's why sometimes simpler puzzles will be better, right? Fewer things mean few, means fewer, like, wrong ideas to investigate. But you'll, you'll definitely want to have some, obviously, because you don't want the puzzle to just be solved immediately. You're going to make it a little unobvious. 
Oh, the actual solution was the thing you were trying for so long. But somehow, um, doing something different allowed you to see it? Now, what did I want to do? So, obviously I'm going to lose my rock when I go in there. Now, how did I do this? <laughs> Another typo? <laughs> Uh, yeah, as I can't tell what's the type of it. Oh, it was easier than the thing. Okay. <laughs> it turns out it was the thing I was trying to do. I mean, I had plenty of puzzles like that, too. It was easier, yeah. Okay, let's get the cursor off the screen. <laughs> Darn cursor. All right, now how did I do? How did I want to do this? So I could send the bird in and then move it right. And then just turn it into a rocket? No, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Hmm, how did I do this now? That's the fun part. It's going to be remembering, huh? So what that is, come on, how did I do it? I can remember this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it started like this, right? Because we got everything out. I'm almost certain it involves something like deflecting it off though. Because we can't just send the rocket flying through. I don't think you want to do bird as... If we do bird is right, then I have an issue. Hmm, what did I do? But it basically involves some way to recover it afterwards. I think these these two die guys need to team up somehow. Let's see, how did I do that? I must have set him in a while. Pretty sure it involves setting these guys in. Whoops. Dust. What a weird object. This nondescript dust. It's kind of pretty though. I guess it's like stardust, huh? Now. Let's position you somewhere. Now, how do I arrange these? So this way or the other way around? Whoops. Of course, if I do this, as soon as I get to the point where that is gets pushed, I think it's going to die. Hmm. It's funny, I can't quite remember how I did this. How could I have done this with only two things? Definitely went through there. don't use right, then what do I use? Ah, uh, maybe I did some transforms. That doesn't seem super likely, though. <laughs> Can't believe I actually forgot the solution. Hmm. I think it would... I think it actually what it may have involved was... I think one thing I remember is, like... The bird facing right, but we're still pulling it backwards. I think I remember something like that happening. Yeah, I feel like I distinctly remember something like that happening. Bye bye birdie. Yeah, that's when that happens. Don't think I want to lose that either. Funny at this rate, who knows if I'm gonna solve this? This one is definitely harder than it should have been. It's, it is, it is kind of hard, huh? I, I uh, remember the what the solution looked like, and now I can't actually remember how to execute it. Agreed. Uh, well, I guess that's good. I'm not the only one that found it hard, huh? I can't remember shrugs. How far did you get in um? How far did you, in shrugs and Carl? How far did you guys get in um? New adventures. I think you got like most of the puzzles, right? Yeah, so that's not going to work. It's only part of the way. Oh, not too many, eh? Interesting. Yeah, 
<laughs> Maybe I did. I'm pretty sure I did solve this. I may have forgot. I may have just been mistaken. But I swear I solved this off stream. Okay, well, let's try to figure out the logic again. <laughs> Most of the puzzles are pretty just good description, huh? Nice. Yeah, solving every puzzle can be rough. Some of these. I mean, some of them are like, are just mains where you just may not see it because, um, they get, like, maybe the puzzle doesn't give you too much to work with. Baba, yep. Today might be the last day of Baba Forest. <laughs> it's nice to see you, though. How have you been doing with Baba? Have you gotten the chance to play it at all? Yeah, and maybe that, well, I mean, I'll probably have some extra Baba streams. For user levels. Yep, we'll see how it goes, Forest. How's your Baba going? You got, uh, that's pretty much it. Nice, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That was a pretty busy, huh? Oh yeah, shrugs. I wonder if you uh, because you probably by by now you've probably forgotten a lot of the solutions, anyways, huh? All right, now how did I manage to get this through? Yeah, I still would like you to see the uh, street of the witness sometime too. I mean, obviously. Shock and I are Witness fans, so we'd probably like that. <laughs> if you're drunk, huh? Well, I mean, that means you get to enjoy it again, huh? We get to see all the crazy logic. Yeah, that's, what's funny is I actually saw, I'm pretty sure I solved this puzzle off stream and now I already forget the solution. So, I get to solve it again, nice. Alright, it's the second and third step, I can't remember. possible that it did involve Bertie Wright. Because this is, it doesn't seem to be product productive at all. Let's see what happens if I try that. So we got Burb there. Oh. You play Witness only in November. November is... A long way away. <laughs> Why do you play the witness only in November? All right, so we can move this back out. Sure. Oh, channel tradition. Eh. Eh. Fair enough. Now, how did I do this? <laughs> oh, yep. This series of puzzles, huh? You know what's funny, Shaw? Because I'm pretty sure I solved this one off stream and I already forgot the solution. You think it would have been more memorable that I would have actually remembered the answer to this one? <laughs> I mean, I thought the solution was cool, but now I can't recall what it was. Is this two or three? I'm not sure what you mean by two or three, if <laughs> it looks like it's a. Uh... Level Familiar 7. Yeah, because I remember you could pull this guy along. It's 1. <laughs> what <laughs> What do you guys mean by 2 or 3? I don't know what your guys are talking about. Let's see, yeah. So this isn't going to work because it's just going to die. <laughs> I didn't mean to say okay to some message, but okay. <laughs> Now you have but okay too. All right, now how did I do this? Obviously, can't just send it. I can't just full send it. I think I was pretty sure being right. It'll all make sense after you solve it. Yeah, we'll see if I solve it, huh? Wouldn't that be hilarious? I for complete. I forget the solution so badly that I just end up giving up. Ah, uh, that would suck. You know, I find it sometimes it's a lot easier to solve when you're just on your own, just able to think. <laughs> So it does, a streaming can make it more difficult to solve the puzzles, but I think it's more fun this way anyways. It's good to be able to socialize and all that. So no, I don't think this is going to work. But I know this right had to be for something. Maybe it was for the rocket. It was like a way to kind of send it in, pull it back, and then I think repeat that process. But how did I do that? <laughs> the maps and expert are kind of destroying me, eh? The maps?
Oh, right. Oh, no. I can't. I tried so many times to do an ultra. It took so long to even do once. <laughs> Expert, huh? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go that far on it. No, I don't. Th I think I already lost at this point. Because there's no push in this puzzle. You can't, like, push him. I don't think Bird is right was a, was a thing. I feel like it was probably the rocket that was ended up going right. Now, I can just remember. I like how Baba just going to go crazy now. Wee, Go, Baba, go! Man, it looks like some kind of, like, super busy, like, little insect or something just kind of <laughs> going around moving everything around. Baba's a hard-working sheep? A dog? What is Baba, anyways? I feel like we've had this discussion. I can't remember what he was. Now, how did I do this? So I can send you through. Like, this is pretty good. What if I, if I send them both? Like, what do I do at this point? I send him back, but it doesn't quite get me there. I can't push anything along, I don't think. Yeah, what did I do at this point? Did I just use, like, one of the things to turn it around? Hmm. Well, I could remember. I got a cool uh, alternate solution to show for one of these puzzles that I did off stream. <laughs> that one I know for sure works. Man. It was, a, it was, it involved like timing. I remember this puzzle involved timing at some point. Like I could easily, uh, like change one of these guys' directions using pull. I don't want him to get stuck there. Somehow I need to turn him around. I don't know. I'll see if I remember that. Because that one's for some reason. This one I don't think I really tried that much. This one I know how to solve. Here, let's prove that I actually know how to solve these puzzles. Alright, we get the awesome music. Yeah, Carl, how long did it take you to do a lot of those maps? I wonder, like, what's a kind of a good time estimate for these. Okay, so the first thing I think I want to do is go through here. I think I do want to recover this. Alright, so what's the silly trick you may be asking? Well, let me show you. <laughs> trick, feeling silly. Well, it is a silly trick. The first expert back to me, two and a half, 2.5 hours. Oh boy. That's for expert. What about the others? What about the other difficulty? So here's the silly trick you were supposed to do. That. So you're thinking, yeah, normally you can't enter this gem. Oh, that's funny. I was like, what? How am I entering it? Normally you can't enter this gem if it's pushed, but you can with this. There's the silly trick. Not quite what I was expecting. So now, I could just teleport onto this location. And I'm pretty sure it involves something like this. I need to block this point so I don't actually push the gem by accident, because I need to get across. So I think I want to set this up here. Yep, and there we go. I move right, but I can't actually go in because it's pushed and then the, the text behind it is holding it in place. So that was a silly trick. I was so focused on that other thing, but there we go. Yeah, that's silly, alright. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they made it so it looks like you could do something else, because it, it kept throwing me off. <laughs> like, it looked like you could take a different approach to it, basically, by teleporting the, the, uh, teleporting the belts around. The entirety of the advanced lobby took you around 35 hours. Okay, interesting. I'll keep that in mind. But enough of this. 
let's go to this because this one's this one I got a funny thing for. Oh, similar to one of your puzzle ideas, teleporting the belt around. Okay. Oh yes, I did end up solving this. This nightmare. And this darn puzzle. Now if I remember how to solve it, who knows? But I guess I'll find out. Because I definitely had something that did work. Yeah, told me this one sucks. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. This one's really annoying. Oh, the thing where you have to stop the bell from sh shifting your other idea. So, like, you're on top of something, and then you step up. Yeah, because I guess... How would you do that without teleporting, really? Okay, so let's see if I can get this dude in. Yeah, this puzzle <laughs> sucks if you ask me. Like, I mean, it's just too annoying. I'm trying to deal with all this stuff. Alright. So, there we go. Let's clear out some of this. Eh, I'll keep a few of them around for good measure. Now, I think I did end up tossing a word. Let's see if I can remember which one I tossed. It definitely wasn't word. I need this. Because I, I distinctly recall putting this down here. You go down there. These guys... <laughs> Alright, let's, let's let Baba take a break for now. Now, which word did I chuck? Might have been the is, because I definitely need Mimic and me. So it's either the Baba or the is I chucked. I can't recall which one. Yeah, there's so many ways to present a setup, huh? Yeah, having the same... Having, I wonder if there's been some puzzles like that in this game that I've kind of had kind of the same concept but presented in a different way. Maybe, I wonder. I wonder if I can think of some examples of that. Okay, so we move those up. We go up, up, up. I remember, it was something stupid, right. It was some kind of like priority thing I ended up using for this. And I'm like, what, really? That's how it works? Now, if I can remember how I did it, that would be great. Okay, yeah, I think I remember what I did. Even though it felt kind of jank. Maybe that was not the intended way. It definitely felt slightly janky what I ended up doing. Well, if you want some, some jank, stick around for another puzzle, I think, in this. Either in this set or a different set. <laughs> I found a janky solution to one of the ones here. So I, I can't wait to show that. Alright, so I have these. Now I think what I did is send Baba in. So I'm like, now how am I going to do Baba is word without an is? Well, this is what's weird. So I can't just, uh... If I just try to turn Baba into rubble, I can do Baba mimic rubble, right? But look what happens. I turn him in the rubble, and rubble is rubble, so I can't do rubble as flag. But apparently, I think if you do it a certain way, like get him up there, and now do it, now look what happens. Look, you do get a flag. So I guess what happened here is that when Baba Mimic Rubble triggers, I guess uh, rubble is word is evaluated, and then somehow... Baba is flag and Baba... I guess Baba is flag and Baba is rubble actually trigger both at the same time. So I wonder how that works. I guess, um... Yeah, that's kind of... That's, it's weird to me that, um... That, uh, the mimic and the word thing kind of gets evaluated before it actually turns into rubble at all. At least that's, a, that's what I'm getting from this. But somehow that gives you a flag. I'm not sure if I can entirely explain why that happens. It'd be interesting to figure out. But if he's there already, you will get a flag. I assume I got rubble and flag at the same time, then the rubble just gets destroyed by it. But yes, apparently that's... Oh! Bomb and Maybrick rubble happens in rule parsing. But when does word happen, I wonder? Is that part of the rule parsing too? Because what's interesting is you think on... Yeah, when is the transformation step? I actually don't know when that is. Yeah, what layer does transformation happen on? Is it part of rule parsing or is it uh has its own has, does it have its own layer? I actually don't don't remember. Oh, it's layer two. Okay, so there's movement is layer one, transformation is layer two, like special movement, set position stuff is layer three, I think. 
Layer 4 is statuses, and Layer 5 is everything else, including overlap checks. Okay. But curiously enough, Word actually got processed before, um... Okay, so I guess that's what's happening, right? I guess Mimic is getting, um... Maybe Mimic happens in the rule parsing step. Which applies all the rules from the Word. And so then... Maybe from, maybe from the very beginning, you end up with, uh, Baba is Rubble and Baba is Word. So then if with those true, yeah, then both transformations happen at once. That's interesting. I'm trying to explain that puzzle entirely. I'm not sure if I did. I don't know, Shock, if that's how you did it, but... That definitely annoyed me. I was like, what? That's the way it works? Yeah, it's a rule that applies rules. Yeah, that's a, I guess that's a good point, huh? Because, yeah... So, yeah, Shock, did you turn Baba into a flag using, um, Baba Mimic Rubble? Is that how you did it, Shock? <laughs> because I did not think it was going to work that way. <laughs> but off-stream, I was surprised that it worked. You don't remember? Interesting. Yeah, but I was like, what? That's how it works? No wonder it took me that long. Okay, so maybe this is a better way to do it. Interesting. So here's this. So we have this foot, right? I can make the foot move. Or I could choose not to make the foot move and just solve the puzzle anyway, so let's do that. Better? Yeah, I don't know. It definitely felt somewhat janky what I did. If it works, it works. Yeah, that's Baba for you, huh? So, now let's see if I can remember how I did what I did. I think the first thing I wanted to do was move this down a little. Yeah, this puzzle was cool. Yeah, well, let's see what you let's see what you think about uh, my solution to it then. <laughs> All right, I remember what I did. Okay, so check this out, Shock. We're gonna put two of these here. Then we're going to um, I think just turn this off. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. Now I move this down a little. Now I'm gonna put that push back on. I'm gonna be needing that. All right, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go over here somewhere. This one I'm pretty sure I can remember. Let's get this build as pushed to a better spot. I don't really particularly care where it goes. Yeah, let's not try to trap the text though. We're gonna put it up here, I guess. Well, I can barely even see that brown because the sun's shining in. It's been getting a lot nicer here, thankfully. It took long enough. I feel like winter is never gonna end. So you're gonna go there. <laughs> um, how do we get this belt out of the way? You're gonna go down here, I think. Then this goes here. Turn off belt is push. Now we need belt to shift instead. Good old fiddliness. All right, you're gonna go down there. And here we go. We. <laughs> All right, GG, let's go. Now, let's see if I can remember what I actually did. We just go over, we go up, and we go back, and I'm GG. Foot can, foot, foot can relax for a bit. Foot can enjoy, that's not even close to how you did it. Yeah, as I said, I don't think that's what you uh, intended. All right, let's see what you what you did. Yep. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, I don't need that foot. I can just do it this way. <laughs> I don't know what, I mean, I assume this area has 29 puzzles. 22, I guess so. Yeah, this area has uh, so many, huh? Look, yeah. It looks like it has 23. Oh no, I guess you're right, counting the bonus ones. Yeah. Yeah, Shock, what did you want to show me? Or, what did you want me to go back in for? I assume what I was supposed to do is, like, somehow have the foot, like, moving and then, like, race it to the thing. Like, assume what, somehow what I had to do was, like, do this, right? You, oh, yeah, to try to, like, race it there? I think I even tried that, but I couldn't get it. I couldn't. It seemed like I was, like, one tile short. Like, let's say I move two tiles here. Two tiles here and two tiles here. Yeah, somehow you have to like race it there. 
Because you need one belt for the bottom part, right? So two belts wasn't wasn't good enough. GG is shift? You can't do GG is shift though, right? Oh, you mimic it. Oh, interesting. I did not I didn't think that's how it was gonna work. Really? So even if a rule's knotted, it still mimics it anyway. Well, I definitely wouldn't expect that. You're right. It's, so it does work that way? If it, if you're not shift, it won't mimic it? Huh. But yeah, somehow there was a way to... Maybe maybe you need them both, like, to... No, you can't be the belt, because it has to... Oh! Whoa! That's pretty cool, actually. Belt mimic belt. Oh, so that puts an extra shift. It puts an extra instance of... <laughs> it got an extra... <laughs> Oh no, I don't even want to know what that rule would do. No thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't... Uh, yeah, that would have taken me a while to figure out. So, I guess Mimic actually applies an extra instance of the rule. It doesn't just add it if it's not already there. Okay, there we go. That gives you the extra... I guess it would probably give an extra two spaces. Interesting. So, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> but I'm just like, I don't need that foot. It could stay there. Alright, so what do I have left? This puzzle that I don't think I ever figured out a way to get down there, did I? I think I tried this one and never did figure it out. So there's this puzzle, and this world, and there's this one, which I feel like I should be able to solve, but it could be pretty annoying. Okay, you got to go in the lurk world? Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jock. So there's two more there. I don't know if I really want to try those first, but there's not too many left. Let's see if there were any here that I end up solving. Yeah, I solved Harvest Party. So this puzzle, I think it, honestly, I think this looks a lot worse than it is. It's just because there's so many possibilities. But here's the solution I came up with. Let's see if I can remember this. Pretty sure it involved just putting this on the bottom row. So we're going to have our fear combo. I think what we're actually just going to do is... Um, let's see, how did I move this rock ar around? Oh, it's pull. Okay, cool. So we put the rock there. Alright, Gigi. Alright, Gigi, it's your turn. You're going to go there. And now we're going to do Gigi Fear Rock up here, I'm pretty sure. If I can do that, maybe I need to do it in a different order. So... The idea here is we don't we don't want to like go too quickly. Because the idea is like how am I gonna stop this guy from going if I just have him being scared, right? The idea I had was to use this above as a condition, but I don't think that's what they had in mind. I think it's actually a bit different. All right, now let's see. How did I do this? I think we, have, we definitely have the fear up here. I remember that. So you go there. Ah, I think I remember what I did. So we're actually going to use GG as a word to do the fear. Okay, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. So now, of course, if GG mimics that square, he'll become a word and it'll set that off. Now, you may be wondering, well, how am I going to break it, right? I can't, I seemingly can't just break this rule because this mimic is put down here. It's like purposely in a way to make it annoying to break. But I've got to certainly got a way to break it. Kind of reminds me of that one puzzle in the base game that did something similar. So let's see if I can set this up. Actually, I think I just want to put this over here. So we have this here and we're going to break it using this condition. So, there we go, and done. So now it's now Gigi no longer Mimic, now it's Baba Mimic. But of course this condition, this rule itself is totally useless. The only rule, the only reason I put this here was just to Mimic, was just to get, break this rule. So what the heck, it was interesting that above was not actually used to, as a condition at all. I wonder if that was the way you're supposed to do it, but it seemed like the most straightforward way. So kind of difficult, but hey, there we go. Now a new puzzle that I've never seen. So this is going to be neat. <laughs> What's with the infinity signs? Whoa, what the heck? 
Well, this is a weird, um... <laughs> this is a weird setup. Car? Oh, it's a car. I don't think I've ever seen that car. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at the car. Right over there, huh? It's outreach, eh? Oh, no, what? Is this, uh, infam is this infamous or something? <laughs> Yeah, Shock, I think, had the lurk, which is fine. That's how it's gonna- that's how it has to be, huh, sometimes. Shock doesn't like this one. Well, I mean... Shock didn't like a lot of these, and especially in the, uh... Well, I guess this isn't the, um... Familiar land, huh? Oh, boy. What's with the infinity signs? That's what I'm wondering. There's, like, weird infinity signs. Okay, so we ha we don't have very much text, so that's promising. It above lamp is defeat. Okay, so... Well, that's pretty much covering this entire thing. I think above only checks the thing immediately below it, though. So maybe I can make myself, like, a platform to cross it? So we have it above lamp is defeat. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. And the car is just over there. Car is fall down and melt and win. So I can make the car move, but it's gonna fall. Melt. What's hot in this puzzle? Lamp is hot. Okay, so if the car touches the lamp, it explodes. So we could go meow and have the car drive to me, I wonder. But it'll, uh, of course, it'll have something will have to hold it up. Plane can't transform. But the car can, but I probably don't want to because it's my only condition, wind condition. Ooh, text is melt. So don't push the text onto the lamps or it gets destroyed. Gotcha. The car also melts in the lamps. Let's see what else do we have. Level is open? The heck? <laughs> oh, so it's gonna explode the level? <laughs> level is open. If I, if the plane touches a vine, the level explodes? <laughs> That's a weird uh, good way to do it. So don't let a plane end up on the vine somehow. The vine doesn't have any other rules, it's just sitting there. Robot make. Alright. But what's weird is, I don't have any robot text. So what's... I guess it's just like an infinite source of planes. They'll be building planes up here. So I can... I have a nice little plane factory. Ah, that's kind of cute, I like that. Okay, that's still above. Interesting. So it's not um based on what's in between it. That I think I think that's like seeing I'm thinking of. Okay, so I have to build this without crossing that line, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Made the level revert. <laughs> so you can't undo it just to mess with you, huh? Oh, is that what? What does level is revert even do? <laughs> level is revert? I don't even know what that even do. Okay, so I could push some of these through. But what's the point? Can the car be on the vines? Oh wait, these aren't planes. These are these are these aren't cars. These are planes. Hmm, so I'm definitely not getting over there. In that case, the car is going to have to come to me. Oh good, this reminds me of today with my car. Yes, gotta go pick up the car. Alright. It's like a self-driving car. The car will, uh, it's like one of those Teslas where you ask it to come to you. Levels revert transcends the level back into a level icon. So it affects the kick you out. Oh, that's funny. So it kicks you out of the level and then turns it into a level icon. Interesting. Did not know that. I guess it makes sense. Level is reverse kind of like a transform. But it's interesting that even if it doesn't actually transform, it still kind of does. Interesting. I wonder if you can ever normally do that in the game. Like, transform an object that's already that thing. I don't know if there's anything like triggers upon transformation, so I don't know. Okay, so the car's gonna come to me. Alright. Oh my goodness, what is with all this? Do I need, like, plane is move? That would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Besides, the car doesn't push anyways. Maybe what I need to do is, like, drive the car through this diagonal. 
Oh man, that would be nuts, but maybe that's it. Hmm, the only problem is I can't let the plane touch those vines. So it's like a little bit short of being able to pull it off. But what I was thinking is, it's odd that they have like this diagonal here, right? Okay, yeah, typically objects don't revert, so okay, so it's just a, maybe a special thing with level. So I think what I want to do is like, maybe have like the planes going up and down. <laughs> I'm just thinking of something convoluted. Maybe that's not it. Have the planes like going up and down and then kind of like drive the car through, through here, <laughs> diagonally. Well, the car can't touch the, uh, can't touch the lanterns. Or lamps. Eh, close enough. Yeah, maybe it's just because, um... Yeah, that is interesting, huh? It's like, it'd be interesting if a level only kicked you out if it was transformed, huh? I don't know how that would work. You could probably make a puzzle out of that. I mean, there are some, there is that one puzzle, huh, that, uh... Is affected by, like, some other state outside of the level itself. Hmm. How do we get the car over that first gap? That's what I'm a little unsure about. Just how to get the car across that first thing with the vines. So maybe I don't maybe I don't want all the planes moving. Maybe I want a conditional thing. Hmm. Even then, how would I I can't exactly get the planes to move up and down anyways, can I? It's like only side to side. Side to side. Alright. Why do I have this above thing? Above what? Well, above plane is the only condition that I can see. So they're gonna be car above plane or plane above car. I wonder which one I need. Push. Would I, even, would I even want push active when I do this? Obviously, I'm going to need cars move at some point. So, we're going to need this. Hmm. Why would I ever want push, though? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it seems like one of those uh, like interesting execution puzzles. Actually, kind of a neat little thing, but I guess I'll see what I think of it when I actually beat it. So... The only thing the car can really do is either move or not move. And why would I ever want it to not move? Hmm. Like I kind of wanted to go sideways, drop down. So I think I want several planes like going here. I think I do need these planes moving because otherwise I don't think I could just have like a static structure. I mean, yeah, can I? I mean, maybe I just, or maybe I just need to like send some in. The only problem is once I do plane is move, there's no turning it off really, not easily. Okay, I do need plane is push to be able to um, have a, have them support the car anyways. Yeah, so maybe I do need to like set up a series of platforms here. But it's gonna be a little difficult considering that I can't let the planes even touch those vines. So I need like several here, several there. Huh. Yeah, and once planes move on, I don't know what's gonna stop the planes from ramming into the wall. What is gonna stop the car from planes from Ramming into the wall, just setting the above condition, maybe? Maybe that's all I do, is use plane above to put like something like plane above plane is move. If I do that, I don't have... I don't have, I don't think, one to do push. Well, if I do it sideways, maybe. So let's say this was my thing, right? We'd have car there. 
And it could activate this condition at some point. Where did my push go? I literally can't see it. Oh, it's over there. It's always right where my, uh, sun is. Whoa. Okay, I have a little bit of cramped space here, but that's fine. So how about this? We have this here. And now by pushing that down, I can essentially disable this move. And it's great, Noah, but... Unfortunately, that doesn't. I don't think I quite have enough space. I like to have a bit of extra space to work with. Okay, I mean two there is fine. Hmm, and I can't do more than two, so unfortunately that's what that would have to stay. Um, I needed to go face a different way. I need to face it this way. So then, those two would be the first two. How far can I get a here? I'm gonna need three here. Hmm, what if I can like use these lamps to kind of... No, I can't like destroy the planes with the lamps to make them stop. Yeah, how am I gonna get the last ones into position? That's what's weird. That move being in the corner is the real issue. Well, I guess I could turn off move at will with this, right? Yeah, I could essentially turn... I could kind of turn it off on and off at will, but not completely. Because it takes, it takes like several frames. But uh, I wonder if this will give me enough room, enough space. That's interesting. I'm gonna. I guess I could, but I, what I could do is like use this temporarily. Use this car word to kind of um. Yeah, maybe I'll make it a bit quicker to disable. Hmm. So that would get those three there. I think three is too many, actually. I think it's going to extend past the edge, which I don't want. So I need to have one fewer. Hmm, that's going to be a problem. I moved them too far in, I think. So let's move one fewer. Wish I could set this up anywhere else. It's hard to disable this. She could set this plane is pushed somewhere else. Fortunately, there's not really a good spot to put it. I don't really need the push now. Ooh, but if I put that there. Whoa, the heck? Oh, that's funny. Wait a second. Can I take advantage of this? Oh, if if I actually just have it like that, pushing it forward causes an overlap, which just shifts them all forward. Huh, that's kind of funny. So that is what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to disable it. You're supposed to actually have this active. Yeah, that's cool, huh? I think that's a neat solution. Yeah, I like that. The annoying part is going to be pushing this plane sideways. See, now what, right? So this is going to be annoying to get into place. Like, I want to push it down here. Ah, eh, this rules in my way. Like, I want to... Get it in there. <laughs> How am I going to do that? Hmm... I could do that. Like, what I really want is to be able to get this, this thing in a better position. Man, like, now that I have this, like, I have to be very careful not to get rid of it. If only could have plane is pushed somewhere more useful. 
couldn't have set it up vertically, I don't think, because I wouldn't be able to do planes push. I'm out of words. So it's like this would have been the only spot. Was that move always down there? I think it was. And also, I think there were cars trapped anyway. Huh. But I think that's an, the idea. Yeah, it's kind of neat how it sets up like that, huh? Okay, let's set these two up. How could I get that in there? Yeah, I didn't really have anywhere else to put this. I might as well put this car over there. I don't think that this car word is going to be ever useful for anything else besides the final step. Yeah, he's like, above car and stuff, that's not particularly useful. Yeah, that's a neat pattern. Okay, so you go there. Once you're using it, it might be slightly annoying. I really want to be careful not to put that is in. Oh crap, when did the push get trapped? It's because I can't see it, it's like dark brown. You blend in, you push. Alright, you need to go there. Swap these. Well, then there was a little more space to work with over here, that'd be nice. So it feels like this is the setup. I have nowhere else to do plane is push, I don't think. Alright, we got more of these things. Oh. What is Bobby's what is Bobby's your extreme anyways? Yoink. Now I need one like two spaces below. It's easier said than done. I hope I can get that down a little. That's funny, it's like a chain reaction. Ah. Uh -huh. How about you extreme was a joke game, eh? Wasn't it isn't it done though? Isn't it finished? I thought it was actually already done. Okay, so the car can over can temporarily run past the lamp, I think. It just can't stay on it. So maybe this is fine, actually. Yeah, it's finished, huh? <laughs> Balbo, but not on a grid? Oh no. I'm just supposed to see the level explode. Boom! <laughs> Darn it, getting down to this bottom row is going to be quite annoying. Why couldn't you be slightly over? That would have been nice. It's like there's no space to push it over. Look at you if it's slightly over. I don't have any text to use. Meh, <laughs> boink. Huh. I wonder if I can get this plane's help to kind of disable this. Okay, well that works, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we have very tiny little planes. The car is as big as a plane, huh? What kind of plane is that? It's like a pilly little plane, huh? Okay, well I moved him in farther, but big whoop. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's saying, yeah. How am I ever gonna get any down to that bottom row? Yeah, is the car the size of a plane, or is the plane the size of a car? And how am I supposed to fit in that car anyways? I just kind of like squish inwards, I guess. 
Yeah, there's no stopping this move, is there? Because anytime I try to clear up space in here, I just end up with this move that's going to be in my way. Wow, how am I going to get that in there? That's the problem I'm encountering right now. Yeah, exactly. I have a blob, so I could probably just squish in there. Yeah, see, this is the problem. I wonder if I could have done something about this earlier. Like, before setting all this up, I wonder if I could have, um... Somehow done something. Like, maybe I should have set the floor up ahead of time. I wonder if I could have done that. Because there's just no space now with this in the way. It gets me most of the way. Can I use the text? No. Yeah. This part seems fiddly. The first part may have made sense, but this part I'm not really getting. <laughs> this is the one that's extremely BS. Eh? And him fully agrees. I mean, I, I thought I was getting somewhere. It's an easy setup, yeah, but... I thought I was getting somewhere with this, but now this bottom part is screwing me. Uh, let's see if I can figure that bottom part out. Can I just, like, set that up ahead of time? That certainly would be nice. I don't need the moves to set up a platform. It's not failure on what you get it, but getting there is not impossible. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I mean, yeah, I might end up finding just an alternate solution then. Yeah, I thought I was on to something. Wow, you don't think so? Oh, no. Let's see. Well, I mean, this does something at least. Can I just put these here ahead of time? Might as well. I wonder, just, actually, I don't think there's harm in this, is there? Because actually, this will shoot the planes forward for me anyways. That might be helpful. Let's see if that's it. Oh, that's funny. Wow, you actually can turn the car into a plane now that you'd want to. It's funny how the, the, the game will, like, allow you to do bad transformations, but it won't allow you to do any useful ones. Like, come on, you can't just get rid of some of the bad transformations for me to make it more convenient? Nope, apparently not. Yeah. Math is math. <laughs> math is math. What is this new math? When did math change? <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that movie. I still like the first one better. Alright, let's see what this does. <laughs> yeah. I like the first one better. I feel like I have more wit to it. Okay, well, that's something. Uh, I probably should have sent the top ones first. Alright, you go through there. You go through there. Then we'll set this platform up. Um, almost. Wait. Do I need one there? No, I'll just put one there anyways. But I'm doing it in the wrong order. i got to do top down if I want to do it this way. You go there. Stalling Club and Incrediboy. Alright, let's see if that works. Beep beep doop 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 Yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, I'm glad that one worked with my brain. Area complete. Yeah, good job. Thanks, Chuck. Okay, yeah, that wasn't fiddly. Nice. How about that? That's an area actually done. Feels very fitting for the Starry Lands, the plane icon, being that being the last puzzle. Uh, but now I have to deal with my dreaded puzzles. Back to Lurk. Alright, sounds good. Those two. Uh, these two. Come on, I could solve this Flight Academy one. I swear I did this off stream. <laughs> Can't believe I saw that one puzzle without the foot. So the, the concept was cool, but I don't know how long that would have taken me to figure out. Like, sometimes there's a gimmick, but then there's so much extra stuff on top of it. Yeah, it did have a small amount of puzzles. I wonder why. 
Maybe they couldn't find enough to do with some of these mechanics. A lot of the worlds have had three new mechanics. I don't know if the other one had three or two. That one introduced above. I wonder if there's a below word. I haven't... I try to remember if actually a below was a thing. Probably was, and I just forgot. There was below. Okay. Yeah. Like I was to say, I probably just forgot it. Okay, what did I do? Somehow there was a way to push this bird forward and then, like, retract it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, beside. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's left and right. Warm World had five mechanics? What, was that the, um, land, land, land? Or am I thinking of a different one? Five mechanics. Now, how did I get you through there? You stupid bird. Pull. Well, pull's not going to be useful if I have nothing to pull with. Oh, okay. Beside left and beside right. Land of vehicles. Oh, that has auto. Um, what else did it have? It had... No, it didn't have boom. What else did it, what else did Land of Vehicles have, I wonder? Phantom, I think? Auto, Phantom. Um What was it still maybe? Ah, power. Power unlocked. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's good. Cool. That's neat. It did have five worlds. And I think I finished that one already. Alright, let's just do the obvious thing first, because I don't think there's anything wrong with it. We're doing this without losing any resources, I'm pretty sure. I don't think whatever I'm doing involved doing, doing like vertically between any rows. I remember it being fairly simple what I did. It was just a lot of like timing upsetting rules. Ooh, nope, don't do that. That definitely wasn't it. I'm gonna set this up so I can time it right. Da 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 da. Done. Turn you off. Now we swap these. There was a lot of filling around with this little cross here. All right. There we go. Both resources retrieved. After the release of New Adventures, Power Two and Three were added. Oh, yeah, I guess that would help with making mini games, huh? Speaking of which, have you made how is your Baba Is You in Baba Is You coming? <laughs> or does that just seem attractable? <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> I kinda wanted I, I kinda wonder what lockpick in Baba Is You would be. Probably pretty straightforward, but how are you gonna handle the stacked keys? Oh, you haven't started yet. I wonder how stacked keys and doors work anyway. I actually don't know if uh, a one key will open a stacked door or not. I know, like, a stacked key will open only one door. Hey, <laughs> you have tried lockpick a Baba Is You, but you couldn't really get it to work well. Wow, oh, how did I manage to do this without having that rocket touch that thing? I mean, I didn't. Maybe I did touch that. Took 10 groups of powers to even get the base mechanic going. Not what? Wow. <laughs> Just to do the different key colors? So you can't do feeling. You can't use feeling for colors? I would wonder how that worked. Like, what does feeling red or feeling blue do? I guess it only, it only looks at the rule, not the object color. Well, I mean, you could, uh, you could use on probably to deal with colors. Oh, you can use feeling for colors. Nice. So you could do like, hmm, yeah, what would that be, huh? Yeah, it only looks at the rule, okay. Well, maybe you could use on or something, yeah, you could probably use on for some kind of conditions for the doors to, to make them so they react well. All right, I definitely need that bird. And of course I need to be able to retrieve the bird at the end. So I think it had to be some kind of repeatable process.
bird can't fly over the belt, unfortunately. Yeah, this was some kind of repeatable process, I swear it was. Baba Aki has powers to use... Oh. Interesting. Yeah, it depends if you have, like, a key... In oh, yeah, you need, like, a key inventory, huh? I was thinking, like, you could probably... I was probably just gonna do it like you just push the keys around rather than having a key inventory. But, yeah, it's not quite how the base game works anyways. Is that, yeah. I was thinking, the one I was thinking of, you wouldn't actually collect the keys. You just push them around. Oh. Did you make a, uh, levels, Carl? You know, that takes a lock. Oh, a lockpick level and adds some Baba tricks. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> huh, maybe I should check that level out too. It's funny. I don't think transforms were involved in this, so it's interesting that you could turn the rocket into a bird. I don't know how that really helps at all. I don't think uh, transforms were involved in this level. I could be wrong. You can turn the rocket into a bird, you, or you can turn the bird into a rocket, but not the other way around. And why would you want to, anyways? It's pretty useless. What repeatable process was there? If that rocket can't touch that UFO. If they can't push text through, that will be nice, but no, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Oh yeah, group. Th oh, right. I I thought yeah, because you said there's only just group three or power three. Object renaming. Object renaming. Huh? I don't know. You could even do that. You can like. Oh, I see. It's it's like a modded level. Okay. Gotcha. Dang, why can't I remember the setup? It could have been that complicated. Something like, I don't think it was a cross. I think it was something like with two rows of things. Hmm, I could be wrong. Interesting mystery. How? It doesn't even, not looking at this, it, like, it just seems straight up impossible. Because I can never get it, it feels like I can never push things far enough. So as soon as I do, it feels like the rockets ends up on that space that's banned, basically. And it'll get destroyed. Of course, I don't think I can get a pass there either, can I? I doubt it. Okay, so that's funny. So it actually just, uh... It actually just works that way. That's that's interesting that it does that. That you can't upload it, huh? I wonder how it detects that, like, if you have invalid objects. I guess it'll look at your objects to see if everything's, like, legal. Now, how do how does Burb get in there? How do Burb? I need to push him most of the way. Oh, okay. It just looks at the names to see if every every object name is valid, huh? And then I guess it uses that as the level. I mean, you could probably find a way to, like, cheat it. I don't know if it, uh, actually checks, um, if levels are solvable server-side. So I wonder if people, people might have uploaded a lot of possible levels, but then again, eh, who would bother, who would bother with that, huh? 
annoy people with unsolvable levels. It doesn't seem very, very, uh, cash money. Any terms you could use. Hmm, why the right thing? I'm trying to remember why that was there. I don't want something to face right. I could deflect it off. I can, if I have the bird face right, and then there's a rocket, I can deflect the bird off the rocket as it moves, and then I'll make it face the other way. Ah, maybe that was it. So what we do, I think, is I think we do have the bird right. But I think maybe what I want to do is, even if the bird is right, I have to try to deflect off the rocket. Which will cause it, I think, the face left anyways. Okay, let's see if that works. So we're going to send you in. Yeah, well, I mean, like, not necessarily a solver, but, like, if you, like, up your, upload your solution along with the level, and then they just verify that. I mean, that's one way you could do an anti-cheat, right? You could just have, the, force the, force the game to upload a solution along with it. And then you, uh, just verify it on your server. That's how you, I guess, prevent people from uploading impossible puzzles by, like, using, cheating the API or something. Yeah, I wonder, huh? Because I know that's happened with, there was this one witness puzzle site that had that problem where there were some up, uploaded invalid puzzles, which I assume they just, um, I mean, theoretically, right? But if you could hack or mod the game, you might be able to find a way to, uh, upload the level without solving it. Assuming that that's, assuming that the server doesn't validate it, right? Because that's the problem with any kind of client app. Like, you theoretically can't, like, you can't 100% trust anything that comes from a client, right? Because, I mean, maybe there's some anti-cheat that's really good at trying to stop modded clients, but it's very difficult to stop the the user from modding their client and basically doing whatever they want with it. Because in the end, yeah, a client's just a program on your computer, and computers are designed to run whatever programs you tell them to. So in the end, there's only so much you could do to prevent... Um, your client from cheating. Now, of course, if things are server validated, well, now, yeah, there's nothing that person could do to cheat that because they'd have to hack into the server to be able to cheat it. Okay, so even though this bird is right, I think this is the way the trick works, right? So we're gonna pull you, and despite the bird facing right, it, I think it'll still deflect off this rocket anyways. It'll just deflect off the rocket, face right again, deflect off the rocket, face right again. It's really weird, but I think that's how it's going to work. So because of this, even though the bird is facing right, it'll technically be moving left. Yeah, maybe they have some server validation. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, I assume they have some kind of moderation team, too, that can probably remove, obviously, impossible puzzles. Because, yeah, it's funny, this witness site I had stuff on definitely had some impossible puzzles on it. Some are blatantly, some some are blatantly unsolvable. Some I my solver verified they were just unsolvable. Crap, they're on the wrong row right now. Let's actually put them on the correct row. It's like yeah, that's what could happen if you don't do server validation. Of course, that's what gonna be difficult about uh, difficult about online multiplayer, right? Like how much do you server side validate? It's one of the big questions when it comes to designing any kind of multiplayer or content enabled thing. Yep, there we go. That's what it does. <laughs> I think this is actually repeatable, too. Well, maybe not, because this is going to get destroyed. It deflects off the rocket, so even though it's facing right, it's moving left. As much sense as that makes. What a weird thing. Oh, so maybe it wasn't repeatable. Because, yeah, that definitely, uh... <laughs> maybe, so maybe, I never, maybe I never did solve it last night. I just thought I did. I think I thought I had done some repeatable, but I think what happened was I didn't realize the last step. But yet we lost our rocket, but that's fine. Oh, we got a variant. Yeah, I just realized. Where's bonus puzzle two? I enter the infinity is gonna have a bonus. Oh, you don't think you had that exact solution? But maybe, yeah. I feel like I thought it sounds something repeatable, but that certainly wasn't. <laughs> Flight Academy two. Oh boy. The Flight the Flight Academy is is here again. Let's see if some other alternate thing I was thinking of ends up working here. So, what's different? We don't have right, instead we have defeat. 
What? <laughs> Why would I want defeat? Yeah, that's what I was- Oh, that's what people are talking about. Oh! Oh no, Flight- Flight of Academy 3? <laughs> GG, thanks Carl. You have not solved this one at all. Defeat? Excuse me? Why is defeat in this puzzle? Maybe it's just- They use just like a pushing aid? I don't know why else I would want that. Wow. You have not solved this one. We'll see how it goes. Why the defeat? I have a feeling it's like a pushing aid. It looks like all the none of the rules changed. Okay, well, I think we could start the same way. This one's very hard. Oh, boy. We'll see if today's the last day of Bob or if I get so stuck on this I have to <laughs> keep going to yet another. Man, Flight Academy. Well, there's no right this time. Pool, I tell you. Pool can be kind of a complicated rule to wrap your head around, I feel like. fact that it's like a wall basically too. It's like stop with some extra, some extra info. Okay, there we go. Get you back. I mean, unless this is one where I actually do somehow want to go vertically, but I highly doubt that. Why is pull also stop? <laughs> That's a good question, huh? I mean, it's like kind of the inverse of push, but at the same time, not quite, huh? Like, like you could I guess they could have made it so you could just walk on top of the thing. I wonder why they, yeah, it is interesting that pull is also kind of stop, huh? Speaking of which, what does pull and stop even do? I guess nothing different? If an object is pull and stop, I think it's basically just treated as if it's pull. Yeah, which is kind of interesting, huh? I don't know what that would even... Yeah, it just basically just does nothing, huh? Alright, so what can I do with this defeat, I wonder? I can't... I can't shove this through there. Defeat. It's just there to make you feel defeated, I guess. <laughs> Why the defeat? Because nothing has anything in this puzzle. That's funny. Oh, wait a minute. The UFO moved. This UFO definitely moved. Wait a second. You weren't there before. You were here. Hmm. I felt defeated because you couldn't fail the defeat was Yeah, that, that UFO moved, right? I need to check that. I'm fairly certain that UFO moved. Oh, it used to be there. But it's not anymore. I feel like that's got to be relevant, right? They just want to move it for no reason. Obviously, they took the time to click and drag this over there. Oh, wait a minute. The rocket's at a different spot, too. Wait, why is the rocket on that side this time? Hmm, I've got questions, as you could probably tell. Why is the rocket over there now? Mm, indeed. I mean, it'd be nice if I could somehow, like, arrange these differently. You have a theory. Alright. I'll keep thinking on it a bit while you theorize that you might, you might actually solve the puzzle before I do. Okay, but you have a theory as to why that's there instead of there. Yeah, the rocket changed positions. I still see no way to get text through that dust, so I don't see why the defeat would be helpful. So unless it's a pushing aid just to help with timing something. Hmm. Oh, you know the solution, do you? Nice. It's, I guess that's why you said it's hard, huh? Because you know the puzzle's hard, obviously, because you've solved it yourself, huh? Makes sense. I mean, it's not like rearranging this test vertic vertically, right? That would just be nuts. Plus, there's no, like... Oh, Shrug said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. 
Well, what do you think of this puzzle, Carl? Is it hard? It's probably gonna be a yes, huh? That's funny. Why did the UF why does the UF why did the UFO move? Why is the rocket in a different position? I have questions. I mean the UFO probably moves so you can't like fly the rocket up and it'll because it'll just crash into that. You can't make the rocket face downwards. At least there's no right this time. Uh, whatever whatever way I send that bird through, I think it's um going to Wanna say it's a bad puzzle? Okay, nice. That's good to hear. Okay, well this is interesting, right? I technically can push some text upwards with this rocket now. I don't think I could do that before. Because now I could actually send the bird in, and if I coordinate things with the rocket well, I can actually kind of push text upwards. <laughs> I mean, that's why the defeat's there, just to help with timing. Yeah, I can kind of push text upwards with the rocket. Oh, that's probably it, actually. I think, in fact, I think I'm right. The only problem is how am I going to turn that bird around? Maybe I just need to coordinate this. So I think I actually need to leave the rocket vertical and try to push things upwards. The only problem is how, is, how am I going to get the first word up? Because it's going to be in the wrong order. I wanted to get Bird up first. But I don't really see how I'm going to do that. That rocket the way it is. That's why the UFO is there, to make that difficult. Too bad I can't get extra text. What if that was actually a thing? It might be. Yeah, you won't push the darn text up. The word bird, I don't see how to push that up, so I think that might ruin it. Hmm, maybe that's not gonna work after all. I mean, that could be Fly Academy 3's solution. Unfortunately, I don't see how to move that up, and I don't see also a way to protect the rocket, basically. Oh, maybe I do, actually. Maybe I deflect the rocket off the bird. It's gonna move one of the techs over, unfortunately. If I get that bird in there somehow, I could actually deflect the rocket off of it. Now I'm just thinking of all the weird solutions. <clears throat> yeah, maybe these are just maybe this is just a dumb idea. But it seems so cool. And they'll think cool. Wow. Yeah, dang it. Unfortunately, no matter where I put it, well, maybe I could recover it. I'm just th I'm thinking of really convoluted solutions now. Yeah. All right. I just want to see what's gonna happen. Out of curiosity to see what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna. <laughs> See if I can coordinate this properly. Well, I think this is this part. So, like, theoretically, I could, um... Oh, and now that becomes vertical. It's probably bad. Oh, right. I have no right this time, either. I should keep that in mind. Hmm, so that's probably not it. But it's interesting. I did actually deflect it off there. Unfortunately, to deflect it, you also move the bird at the same time. Nope, that's not going to work, I don't think, will it? Oh, it was a thought. Maybe that's the solution to, to number three. Eh, I like how the bird just starts out mo just, just, just uh, enjoying life up here. Hi, little birdie. The solution is cool. Alright. Why else would that rocket be on that side? If not to push things vertically, right? Why would that? Why else would that be over there?
But unfortunately, I don't. If, if I can't get the word bird up first, then it's no good. Oh, how I love to get that thing to face down. Yeah, you can make it. You can make it go up. <laughs> this stupid defeat. Yeah, it's gonna die. That's why they moved the UFO because they moved the rocket. So my original plan did work. I mean, unless unless I really did have a repeatable process that I just forgot about. I find that highly unlikely. These last few have proven to be difficult. All <laughs> right, rocket has crashed. Rocket crashed into the ceiling. There's no way to get like something to face upwards once it's uh in there, right? Not really. I mean, if there was, it would be cool if there was like an up version where you uh, you go up, but maybe that would give it away too early, too easily. Yeah, I'd probably give it away too easily if there was like an up. So you think, oh, well clearly you go vertically. I don't know, maybe I should think too much on the side. Definitely seems important. I mean, unless I can move things down. That doesn't seem likely either. <laughs> you want to see it? Nice. Yeah, Shrugs, you want you want to see the solution just uh just being at stream, huh? Even if it's even if you don't uh see my solution, you might come up with your own. That's always neat when that happens, huh? Hmm. I get to listen to the nice space music at least. The darn rocket. It's gonna mess with me. There's no right this time, which actually kind of sucks. That right was very convenient. Without that right, things are kind of hard to deal with. Yeah, and once they become lined up vertically, I don't think there's anything really useful to do at that point. So I don't think I want to line them up vertically. I can, whatever I could do, I could definitely pull in the rocket from another row if I want to. Hmm. Uh, don't push those things. It is if I can like pull the text through to the right side, but I don't think there's any other different. It doesn't look like there's any other different rules in this puzzle. That's interesting. I wonder what text is text is star. Oh, it's to stop you from stacking text. I didn't even think about that in this puzzle. Stacking text? I guess that's a thing. I didn't even think about trying that in this puzzle. No, they don't. Right, you can see with move, you can technically stack text. Darn it. It's like, is that why I explain why this is here? Yeah, you still can go through there. Do, 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 do. Wow. I, a defeat. I'm just so confused and de somewhat defeated by that. Why the defeat?
Uh, yes, feet. I went away from feet in that last puzzle, but now I'm gonna have to use it. Do do do. Hmm. What else could I do with the rocket on that side of the puzzle? I don't know. Besides just pulling it out. I mean, maybe it's there just to create a difficulty. It could be the case. Just to make it so that it's a little bit harder to time this stuff. Doesn't seem super likely, but it could be the case. So if I retrieve both of these and put that bird up there, I wonder what I could do with these two. There's no right, so once it's on the conveyor belt, there's no leaving, I don't think. Oh, it didn't work. Huh. I'm curious as to what you had in mind. Thought so, eh? Interesting. I guess it wouldn't be that easy. Yeah, not quite that easy, huh? Yeah, I could turn a bird into a rocket, which is interesting. Well, how do I even get one of these through? I could try to match it just the basic, using the basic method. I don't even see how you can even get anything close to working. So send the bird through, but then what is it going to do after that? I guess it's helpful that there's this barrier here that you just can't get text through. <laughs> what the heck, defeat? Why are you there? I don't think it's gonna kill anything else. I don't have any other use in this puzzle to conveniently get rid of. So somehow I have to do this with just the text staying across, staying on the other side of this barrier. It's not like sneaking through, it's not like hidden area. I mean, that'd be stupid, huh? Of course you wanna do that. No two copies and move. We make two things move at once. Why I'd want to, I'm not sure. What could I do with two things moving at once? So Eric with some with some coordinated movements. Yeah, because I have to be able to turn that thing around. I have to be able to turn around. Huh. I guess, yeah. I'm already, f I can't believe I'm almost two hours in because, yeah, these are a bit difficult. Well, it's good to know that uh, the stuff, uh, there's still a bit more to do. I still have not figured out that uh, cursor is level thing, by the way. <laughs> I might end up asking for help on that because I've been trying it for so long. Oh, yeah. That's what I say. Yeah, it's only an hour and a half. I thought it was like almost two hours because I see five. But yeah, that's like it's been an hour and a half. So that's about halfway through. I probably should just ch check the time so much. Hmm. I tell you, these are hard, man. Hardest puzzle game I've played? Yeah, I'd say so. I wonder if, I wonder if, I mean, maybe including this, I wonder if I, if, just looking at the base game, I wonder if I consider Baba to be the hardest puzzle game I've played. I don't know. It's hard to say, man. It's hard to say in some cases. If the rocket moves up, I can recover it. If I want to, I could throw one text all the way up to the top and then have it be moving around. I don't have another word. 
Man, how complicated could this solution be? I'm sure you try to think of something weird now. Like, technically I could do belt is something. You know, I wonder why that's there. I used to get this, this part up here is open. Didn't really get used in the last puzzle, but like, would I actually be able to get a word up there? Oh, you give up for now? Yeah, it's hard. I might give up for now and go to a different one, but I mean, I don't even have too many left to do. I'm actually only at the point where I have like a few worlds left, huh? Yep. <laughs> this game is hard, huh? Well, maybe when I see it, I think I'll be... A few world... What? Yeah, a few puzzles. That's what I say. A few worlds left to 100%. Is what I'm meaning by that. A few worlds left to 100%. Hmm, why the defeat? I can't get more Babas. <laughs> what if I could? That'd be funny. But I just want something to kill me for whatever reason. Why is this down here? Was that always down there? I want to actually look at this. Do I know how many exactly? One bonus level. This. This. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and then I guess the uh, if assuming there's nothing after this, the bonus puzzle in the main game. Not very many, huh? Enter the Infinity looks like it's gotta be the one of the last ones I finish. I'm surprised I came up with so many ideas for this concept. All right, so let's look at this again. Okay, yeah, so it was always like that. They just don't have this right thing anymore. I wonder if anything else is different about this level layout. Not really. Silly, but I mean, I can't get this out. I wonder why that would help me, anyways. I can't tell whether it's defeat that's helping me or the rocket's position that's going to help me in this puzzle. It's still, it's to the left. Hmm, what can I try with this? get most of those words kind of moved over. Yeah, I'm like, I wonder if belt is could actually be a thing. Funny enough, I could push the is through and get something up there. But I just don't seem to have a way to get the, the thing in the third position. There doesn't seem to be a way really to get anything up here. Not that I could tell, at least. No, that would be insane. That would be insanely convoluted. That's the whole thing that's going to happen. Yep, not very many left. Boy, block pushing puzzles. This one seems like one where you just have to find a sneaky way to arrange this stuff. Okay, so why did it, why would I have before work? What I had before worked because Yeah, I gotta think about why what I had worked. So I spent I spent one cycle not bringing the rocket in, and then the other the one the other one I sacked the rocket. So I had one cycle where I brought both. One where I just sacrifice I just brought just the bird through, and used right to turn the bird around. Like, there's no way I'm, like, timing it, right? To where the rocket's going up on the conveyor belt and then, like, I bounce off of it? That would be crazy. I mean, at the very least, it does allow me to turn around. What it doesn't allow me, I don't think, to do is to get that rocket back out anyways. Now send one through. I still gonna get Birders win. So I don't think it's something insane like this, right? <laughs> what if the what if the rocket was actually moving up here as I like pushed one of these in? 
So I think I can very easily get this bird back and recover both of these. Oh boy, that timing seems like it'd be a nightmare, but what if I could technically have this, like, rocket moving upwards at the same time this bird is flying through here, push the is through, and then the rocket's here. Now, I don't know how the order of operations works with multiple moves and pull. Well, maybe I just disable the... I mean, the rocket won't be moving, it'll be shifting. I guess move technically happens before shift, right? So, technically... This, if they, if these two were next to each other and the bird bounced off, it would pull the rocket through. Of course, then I'd have to disable pull to leave the rocket here and then just let the bird go flying back through. Let the bird fly away. And then I'd send the bird through here. Up through here. And then have the rocket pull the bird this way. And then I could recover like that. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that would be insanely convoluted, but it's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. Let's try it. I mean, we have this, we have multiple is's at our disposal. I guess that's what's different, right? I only had one is before, now I technically have two. Let's see what complications that plan runs into. Of course, that doesn't make it, that doesn't, that means that putting the rocket at a different position did make a difference in this, in this case. So I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. Seems like a pretty good plan in general. I don't see any apparent uh, immediate issues with it. So you're gonna go through there. And now, of course, we turn her around. We we'll cover both of these. Whoa! Whoops! It's very easy to move this guy by accident. He's a movie fella. He likes. He wants to fly away. Bird is pull, rocket is move. Come back, please. Return to me. Ta-da, there it is. Alright, now here comes the convoluted plan. You're gonna go up there. Boy, I have to, like, space these out and everything. You're gonna, I guess you, that's the only place the rocket can go through is through here. So much with this, uh, idea. Hmm, let's see if I can space this out correctly. I'll just guess and then see how many tiles I'm off. That usually seems like a good plan, right? If anything, I'll just put it one space away. That might make it easier to time. Hmm, what if I could just leave them both there? So right now what I'd need is at some point to turn on bird is move and rocket is pull at the same time. What would that look like? Let's see if we can figure out how that would look. Whoops. Too early. Yeah, don't actually turn it on. Just figure out what it would look like. We need to go from from rocket is move to rocket is Kind of like this, and then very quickly go to, um... Yeah, rocket is... What was it? Bird is move and rocket is pull. Right now I, I'm, have, I'm pushing it down, so maybe that's not good. Okay. I put like the is in the center. You'll go there. Okay. And I could have given myself a bit more wind up here. I'm gonna get a good idea. Let's see if I can make it work as is. Oh yeah, that works. Nice! <laughs> gotcha. Ah, but the problem is... Oh, that worked. Wow, that... I guess I didn't even need to defeat for that. It actually is funny how that worked out to be just the right number of spaces if I just put them all both in the position. Okay, so now, of course, we do... We are going to send the bird through the second row. So, so I do, so it is pulling things back through the other direction. How neat. And up, I can't send the text through, but I can certainly send items through the other direction. Send it from left to, from, uh, left to right rather than right to left. Right, you're going to go through there. And then we're going to need... We're going to need to switch to rocket as move pretty quickly. 
and Birdus pull. Let's see if I can figure out how I'm gonna set that up. You're facing the wrong way. Get over there. Now, how am I gonna set this <laughs> jank up? Let's see. We go through. So once that bird hits that conveyor, I've got to get, I think, the the next row active on the very next frame, because I'm going to have two frames to do this. Frame one is it going to be, it's going to be moving onto the bell, it's going to get shifted up one space. Frame two, I have to switch to the rule. And, yeah, okay, so I actually have two frames, because I have one, on the frame the bird moves, I could disable birders move. In fact, I'll need to. Then on the next frame, I have to activate Rocket is move and Bird is pull. Hmm. I'm gonna have Bird is pull active the entire time, I think. I just have to switch what's being, what's moving. I can have this on the entire time. I'm just gonna be able to switch what's moving somehow. I'm gonna do that. I want me to do that. It's like have both words lined up here. So if I do that, I do have room for border birders pull over here, technically. There's like space over here for it. That'll do it, right? Fly away! Turn you off. Uh, not quite. I need one more space in between. Oh, that's gonna be the problem. Maybe that's why the defeat is there. Huh. I wonder if I could do the get away without that defeat. Maybe. I guess defeat, defeat does allow me to kind of space these out a bit more. Yeah, you see it. I think I've got it. I mean, you could do it like this, right? I wonder if I could have gotten away without this defeat. Probably. Ugh. Stop that. Okay. Um, wrong one. Like that. Okay. You go off, and then go there. Yeah, so I guess the defeat did allow me to space it out, at least. Back to me, please. Huh. That was cool. I like that solution. Wow, that was pretty... I feel like that one was pretty hard. Like, there were a lot of difficult steps in there. And, of course, Flight Academy 3. Alright. We're back to having the rocket on this side. I don't really see what, what difference that made last time. What's different here? What is different? Let's do a comparison. Side by side. Yeah, was that your solution, Shrugs? Probably, huh? So we have blank is right, rocket is pulled, bird is move. All those clouds look up the same. The UFO seems to be in the same spot. It was your solution, nice! <laughs> yep. Ah, there's one fewer is this time. Okay, that's all that's different? That can't be that bad to deal with, right? Hmm. Yeah, there's one fewer is. Why did I need that is again? I don't remember. Well, I could start the same way. Let's say I retrieve both items here. I can retrieve them both the same way as usual. Without any loss of resource. So now what? <laughs> you know what's kind of funny is, it's too bad it never really, they never really had any of the vertical solution. I think that would have been cool. Because I don't, I don't see how this is going to do that either. This doesn't seem like, this also seems like it's going to be impossible to do the vertical stacking solution. That would have been kind of neat if you ask me. But that's that Flight Academy 2 was actually kind of neat. That was a satisfying solution. Okay, so... What am I going to do with these two now? We have right. I could go... I could take one cycle in to spend Birders right and Birders... 
Yeah, I could do that, right? With just Bird is moving, Bird is right here. I think I should be able to send this guy through. Oh, you see a second difference. Wow. Really? What? What could be different? I mean, this is where it was originally. Let me let me see that. So I'm gonna take a look at all these rules. All these rules seem the same. These are still arranged the same way. These UFOs have always been there, I'm pretty sure. Huh. You sure you see something different between this and this one? Is there like a cloud different? Oh, there's empty, there's, em there was clouds down here. I wonder if that was always there though. Oh, there's one, there's one more UFO there, isn't there? I did not notice that. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's a UFO there now. That's funny. I would have seen that pretty quickly if I would have just uh, tried to do my usual way. So not only is there one fewer is, but there's one extra UFO. What? Excuse me? Was I supposed to learn something, I wonder, from level 2 that would help me here? So I can't just send the rocket through at all. In fact, the rocket can't even go on that side now. The bird can, I guess. But if I can't get the rocket through there, let me see how that's going to help me. Hmm. That's funny. Technically, I can deflect the rocket this time off that bird. What if? What if this is the one with the vertical stacking? Because I have right now. I can actually send the bird through, deflect the rocket off of it, have the rocket be facing down. Of course, the problem is the thing's on the wrong side. That would be great if the rocket was on the other side instead. Technically, I could actually make that rocket face downwards now. Huh. Not one more is? So we have rocket is pull, bird is move, and right. Let's see what we have on the other one. Oh, it's the same number. Oh, interesting. It's just they didn't put the is there. Okay. So there's the same number of is's, actually. It's just they, okay, well that's, I guess, a good to note. They didn't put this is here right away. Wonder why. So I must be have to do something with this is then. There's some reason they didn't put it down here at right immediately. Interesting, yeah, I can, I can actually deflect that rocket downwards now. That would really help me if I could actually push things to the opposite direction that I want to. So I don't think that's going to help. There's no up either. Wow, what convoluted solution can I think of this time? Jeez. Well, one thing I can do, actually, with this rocket is, um... If I push, like, say, the wind over, right? I can, like, shift it, pull it upwards like this. Then the bird can just push them both in at once? I think that'll work. So let's say we send Burb through. You go through here. You come back through here. To this point. Put the wind here. Then have the rocket shove it upwards to this row. Now have the bird come back through, come through this side, and push it all in. Of course, that still leaves the bird at the wrong spot. Of course, and the bird's going to be facing right, so how am I going to do this last step? Hmm, maybe that's not going to work, but it's interesting. You're going to go up there. I would love to be able to recover this rocket. I guess I can. Well, can I? If I do that, I don't think I can recover that rocket. If I move this, if I shift this up here. You know, I never really, never really thought about that. Just shifting this up to a different row. Maybe there was a reason why I never did that. 
Probably. Yeah, that's no good because, for one, bird is right, it's stuck on. I can't turn, turn it off. And I also have gotten the rocket stuck at a weird, at an awkward spot. So after pushing the wind up, then what? Hmm. Man, this, I, just, I didn't think there was going to be so many possibilities of things to do in this puzzle. Something about having this having this is accessible allows me to work work with this third one, eh? No wonder. Yeah, today's the flying episode, huh? All about these two dudes flying with each other. Hey, they did make a pretty good team, though. I can't even pull this out without pushing anything if I really want to. Which might be a good first step if I want to retrieve this. Yeah, I feel like that's somehow involved. Setting this through... It almost works. Setting this through... Then we get to the right. I mean, I could move it to the right up here. But the text is still in the way. That's the main issue I have with that plan. Darn, if there's just some... I don't remember the size of a portion of it. Yeah. That's like a little toy rocket, huh? Uh, what what, what is size matters in this game, right? Everything's just one tile no matter what it is. You could have a bug, uh, or a, or a plane, or an entire house, <laughs> and they're all they're all one uh, tile. Yeah, I could fly, huh? Well, not not much mass, maybe it makes it even easier to fly. It's just a little toy rocket. Yeah, that's funny. No matter what it is, everything is one tile in this game, huh? Yeah, I feel like I want to just send the bird flying through here. Because now I can't even use this darn rocket at all, it feels like. Yep, the house is the same size as the things in the house, huh? Bubba's house can have a house inside it. <laughs> or if you want, you can make a house out of houses. Wasn't there a house house? There was. <laughs> there was a house made of houses in this game, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't there a puzzle like that in this game? I'm gonna keep thinking that I can't send these through in a pair if that's there. So even if I could get the rocket back, what would be the point? Nothing, nothing that I can really see. There was a house house. <laughs> oh, it's a title Goose Game reference, really. Interesting, I never played that one. Hmm, I liked my plan of sending this through. Through here, and then send this up. Me neither? Yeah. But I've heard it's good. The only problem is this darn right. Is there some way I can turn this bird around without writing it? I can't even get the rocket to this side at all, so it doesn't really seem like it. I mean, one thing I technically can do is turn the bird around with the rocket. If the, if the bird moving right somehow bumps in the rocket, I can start going the other direction. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's fine if I can... So the main thing, issue now is just getting past that text. That's the main problem I'm having. Text is going to be in the way. If I guess I'm going to get the text out of the way and also retrieve my rocket at the same time, I'd be fine. Dang it. Yep, two hours. Here we go. Well, I feel like I'm. I feel like uh, with those past two, that I should be able to figure out this one. That last one felt really difficult, but if 
I can handle that. Hopefully I can handle anything at this point. I'm just going to be able to get past this text coming back. I guess the main issue, right, is how to come back. I can go back here. Yeah, because I'm going to come back without activating right. Because once I... I can send these guys in as a pair once, but I give up the rocket at that point, then I can't do it again. So I feel like that's the final step, is to send them both through at once. But of course, how do I send the burden twice? It doesn't seem possible. There's nothing I can deflect off of that I can tell, because I can't get the rocket on that side. It does feel like it has to be it. Maybe I shouldn't get too fixated on that, but I mean, it seems like such a promising strategy. If only I could have like one extra block to push. Man, what could I do with that? When they're here, is there any way to... Oh, maybe there is! If I send this bird here and push the wind here, push this up here, have the bird move here, I wonder if there's still some way I can salvage that situation. Hmm, maybe not. So if the rocket moves again, it's going to push it too far. The bird's not going to be facing the right way. Hmm. Of course, if the rocket was here, I could have the win there, but that, that's bad. I don't think I could do that in two separate steps, either. It's a tricky puzzle. <laughs> we sent all the way up there. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. I don't want to send all the way to the top. Just want the Darth Vader to turn around. <laughs> I can't do bird is right and rocket is right, can I? No. <laughs> oh yeah! I think that might have been up from outside, actually. I think that- I, I, think I heard something happened. <laughs> That's gonna be in the video, huh? Man, it's so weird not having push- being able to have push in this game. Playing is loud, yeah, that's for sure. do I do with a Klondike bar? That's not how the song goes. <laughs> what, do, what would I do for a Klondike bar? That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I guess every object has a sound. It would be interesting to hear like what all the object sounds are in this game sometime. Yeah, the wind ends up too high if I do this. Darn it. Well, let's at least try to see if I can get this these two going. Staring at it doesn't seem to be doing too much, so let's see if I can work with a bit of movement. Almost. Okay, come on, I can set this up. I've done this plenty of times. Oh, right. Forgot that that even happens. Oh, yeah, of course. That's not gonna be so simple. Too bad I can get it both like this. Whoa, Birdie. Birdie's escaping. Nope, you're not getting away. I can at least retrieve my objects. Where would I want this rocket anyways? It's on the right side. Yeah, still no stacking text in this puzzle, so that's not it. Hmm. 
Yeah, we have bird is move and bird is right. Why would I have this extra is? Doesn't seem necessary, but it must be for something. Yeah, because there's a reason why that's not just there immediately, even though, what else would I put there? So it tells me there's something I should do with the two is's before doing that. I mean, maybe I could be looking too much into it, but it's, there's a difference. Whoa, that's funny. He, like, bounces off the wall. Yeah, but I could technically move that out of my way. So even if I could, let's see if I can figure out what to do anything with this thing. Without that rocket, I don't see any way I'm making this bird do anything useful. This is here. And it's here to stay. Bird is rocket's probably not going to help, right? She's going to get vaporized. Yeah, it's just going to get vaporized as soon as it goes through. Yeah, there it does just go. <laughs> These UFOs are straight up vaporized rockets. But apparently they're fine with birds. I guess birds don't, are considered a threat to UFOs. <laughs> Maybe they respect nature, who knows. Hmm. Is there any way I could have done that besides bird is right? Any way to stop this guy once he gets all the way through? Or perhaps. Yeah, what would I do with two is's? I can make two things move at once. Yeah, that's the only thing I see useful with two is's, right? Is it allows me to do two movements at once. Now, why would I want to do that, I wonder? So what else could I do with two is, is that I couldn't do with one? Some kind of timing thing, but I mean the timing wasn't really that difficult to set up. Huh. I wonder what happens if like... Hmm. I'm trying to think of like if there's some way for things to like pull two different directions at once. I guess there kind of was with the two rocks that were afraid of each other, but were also pulling each other. <laughs> and they were like fighting with each other. That was so weird. Technically, I could have two things move at once for whatever reason. As long as I can see how that's going to help me here. It still doesn't allow me to turn around. The only way I see to turn around in this entire puzzle was with the right. I have to turn that bird around. Don't make me turn this bird around. No, you're going to make me. Instead of turning this car around, turn this bird around. I'm trying to turn him around to the right. game. There's no way like I'm sending the bird through and not pushing some text through either. It's gonna push something no matter what. And too bad bird is when it's in like lined up. Like Oh yes, just put it vertically. Look, just come, put it vertically like this. What's funny is that I could kind of do stuff like that. The bird is right. Well, maybe not. I was thinking I could like make the make the move move the bird to like an entirely different row and do some cheese like that. No, I don't think so. If I did, I don't see how that's going to help me. I 
Hmm. I've been staring- I've been looking at versions of this puzzle for so long. Maybe I'll try something else for now. So I've got less than an hour left. Man, that's so close. That so close to base having all the puzzles solved, though. Come through there, push you up. Then what? The right thing seems like impossible to deal with without this rocket. It really just does seem impossible to deal with. I can't, like, suspend this text somewhere, like, here or something. That'd be silly. Nope, this is gonna move all the way up there no matter what. Do, 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 do. I mean, what? Having this go up and down here, having it burn? Yeah, like, that's gonna happen. You know what's funny is I could get the bird up here and then technically have it move like this. Can I, the bird actually can move back and forth here. But by then I'll already have some text at a bad spot. I'm probably not gonna be able to work with. Like I could have I could actually have this guy go through here. I don't know if I've ever tried that. Yeah. Let's see how many other puzzles I could solve, huh? Yeah, because that might be a short stream tomorrow. In fact I might we'll see, I might end early today because I actually got some stuff I gotta work on tonight. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, I, I don't want to give up yet. Wait a second. If I send the bird through here, and then through here, and then pull it downwards, with that, that would be silly, but... It still requires me to use right, but what the heck? I could actually bring the bird all the way around here if I really want to. That's the thing you tried doing for the first one. I <laughs> tried to go all the way looping around. Okay, does that help me at all? I still have the right issue. <laughs> we. So what happens if I try to do that? We could pull the bird downwards then. <laughs> downwards somewhere. Where I don't know where I want him to go. All I can really do is just let him go and he'll come back in. I mean, it would allow me to kind of pull the rocket around in different spots. Wow, that would be weird. I'm actually going to see what happens if I do that. I'm tempted to try it now. But of course, to do that, I would have to leave that rocket there, right? I can't, once it has to start there, because that's the only time it's going to face up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> no, don't move. Well, I guess you can move. That's fine. Alright, I just want to see what this is going to do now. Whoops, I keep pulling them by accident. It's a little tricky. That was the first one. Yeah, I wonder how many of us saw, like, their solution one, two, or three solution first. Okay. Well, part of the reason we have a second is might just be to switch to right quickly. But still, the fact that it's floating out in the open concerns me. is fine, I think. This is three, yep. This is three. <laughs> it's got back after an hour. Yep, after an hour, I I am... I got through two, and now I'm stuck on this one. Wow. This is certainly a series of puzzles, isn't, isn't it, Jantua, huh? 
Yeah, this, this is certainly a series of puzzles. I'm trying to do something really weird now. I'm about to take a break. We'll see. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to attempt this too much longer. It's just getting silly. Yeah. <laughs> two is by far the... Two was hard. Uh, yeah. Two was kind of neat, though. I definitely didn't expect what kind of solution that they gave me. Ah, it'd be nice if I could somehow get this rocket to move up and down somewhere, anywhere else. But I can get Birdie back. I can get Birdie and the rocket back. this cross here. This is more, you think it's more similar to one than, than, uh, you think, you think this one should have been two and the other one should have been three? Interesting. Maybe. Because I can't try to tell. I'm just kind of guessing what the similarity is. But yeah, they put that darn UFO in the way. Let's get my cursor off the screen. So great. I could do this one more time. Is that UFO always that many spaces away? I guess it was. Yeah, but I think up is out of the question now. Yeah, let me get one more use of this. Now imagine I could have actually gotten that win at a good spot. And not at the top of the puzzle. Like one thing, one convoluted thing I was thinking I was like lining these up. But of course that would kind of require me to like turn it around. Can I somehow do that actually? No, not really. It'd be funny if I could like push this over and then push it up. Of course, yeah. That will require me to like have the bird like sitting here at the same time, which is like it doesn't make any sense. No, it does not much make much sense that way. Yeah, too bad I can't send him there. so weird. It's like the only way to get this guy to leave here is with right. I mean, is there some better way I wonder to... No, I can think of. But that's interesting. You could send him up there. Alright, maybe it's time to take a break from this puzzle. Let's see how many others I can actually figure out. But yeah, we got Flight Academy 1, 2, and 3. For me, 3 is the hardest, but it looks like, yeah, some people find 2 to be harder. 2 was pretty hard. It was kind of neat. Alright, so we got those two. Ugh, I don't even want to try to think about solving these two at the moment. But this map is looking pretty filled out, isn't it? It's so pretty. We got all these flowers blooming. It's great. Enter the infinity. Oh boy. Well, at least we got the good music. Now, how'd you guys find this one, huh? I think it's funny when I couldn't even figure out how to start the puzzle. So clearly something like this has to be the start, right? This is one I tried to solve off stream and couldn't quite do. Yeah, I might end up having a shorter Baba stream. Next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, and now we get to enter it in Baba, huh? Enter the infinity. <laughs> no, you, you only really exit the infinity. You only get to enter the Epsilon, huh? So the problem we're right here is the, really the big problem in this puzzle is the position of this. Of this darn, um, win. It's all the way at the bottom. But I always for trying to, like, move this down. I can't quite do it. 
Like, I can get to this point, but then what, right? How do I get this is any lower than it is? Yes, how do I get the is lower than the is? It's kind of interesting that this starts like that, because you can't do Baba is you up there. Like, how do I get this is any lower? I would almost want to push this down somehow. But, uh, of course, I don't have an is, so I can't do that. Because the wind is not coming up. That's really interesting. I mean, unless this, this is can't come down either, right? Did that start up there? No, it didn't. But I had to move it up here to be able to do this. At this point, it is a staying up there. Maybe I could try to avoid sticking against the wall. Ba 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 Look at Baba. It's a happy little sheep. I still think Baba's a sheep, but some people think like, yeah, is he a bunny, a dog? Somehow I managed to get, like, Baba stacked on top of the Utex. I actually don't know how I did that. I don't think I've ever done that before, either. Now, how did I do that? Baba is just Baba. So, this is weird. Why did this... Oh, because Baba's pushing it. Like, why did this move that? Right, of course, because Baba's pushing it. It's not a bunny. It's not a dog. It's just Baba. I mean, I guess. I don't know. How did I get that to happen now? I gotta figure out how I did that. How did I manage to stack Baba on top of the text one time? It actually seemed really good. I guess I can just undo to it. Let's see how I got there. Alright, let's take Baba on a run. Whee! <laughs> I remember Shock's reaction to this puzzle. What the heck is this? There we go. How did I do this? And is it going to be useful at all? I'm inside the text. How did I get inside the U? Ah, that's how. Don't control Baba and then go through like this. So given that, I wonder if I could get a uh, Baba inside anything else. Not that I necessarily want to. Like I really, really could be able to do is get Baba over to that left side. I want to kind of get Baba on that left side without trapping this against the wall. I really would like to avoid trapping this is against the wall if I can. Because maybe it's going to become helpful at some point. Like if I could line these two is's up, that would be really great. Like pushing the is to the other direction somehow would be nice. I if I can manage that. So right now, yeah, there's emptiness there, so it doesn't help me. I can't push that, move that down easily. If I had Baba inside the is, I wonder what happens then. Great, now if this Baba was just, this Baba text was just one space over. Alright, Baba, how do I get you over a little? Oh, I got Baba down there. That's new. I really would like it for, for Baba to go the other way. Oh, that's a good, good music. is the puzzle of all time. I uh, see, so yes, moving this sideways is what's allowing me to do that. Do some of this weird stuff.
I think I had it over farther before. Like, let's say I'm over here and I do that. So what I ended up doing was... Yeah, I can put it up there. But of course, I can't actually reconnect like that. Hmm. And yet somehow I did that with a U. Huh. Maybe it's because I was over here? Whoa. Well, that was weird. <laughs> I managed to do that. It's amazing what you could do just by messing around in this game. We could just find somewhere to... Determine I am determined. I can leave just that. I can't, like, leave something like that. But I can deposit just the is. <laughs> Temporarily, at least. Hey, it's Tree Leaf! Hey, it's nice to see ya! Oh, heck. <laughs> Shock. Why, oh, heck. <laughs> Because you did your phone like do something? <laughs> yeah, this puzzle. Yep, I'm st I'm on this stupid puzzle again. <laughs> How are you doing, Tree Leaf? How did your Baba go? Yeah, I'm on the uh, new adventures pack. <laughs> yep, this one's still giving me issues, as you might expect. <laughs> as you might expect, it's still giving me problems. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, this is just ridiculous. The last few ones frustrated me. I don't blame you. As I said, this game is difficult. I think it's probably the most difficult puzzle game I've played. So, which which world were you on, Tree Leaf? You get this awesome music in this level, at least. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> what were the rules like? What kind of mechanics did you have to deal with? I don't know what I'm doing in this puzzle, I'm going to be honest. I just got to do random stuff, and it doesn't work, unsurprisingly. Nothing's getting through there. The secret- Oh, yeah! The secret one where you get the flag and Baba going on it? Oh, yeah, that's that's the fun part of the- uh, To me, that's when the game really starts getting fun. Oh, wait a minute, I think I'm at a different level, but I think I, there's another there's another part where, with a flag and Baba, that's very cool, near the end of the game. That's when the game really starts getting awesome, that, I hope you can get to that point. But I mean, you get the flag and Baba going on it, I feel like that basically describes every level in the game, though, so... <laughs> I don't know if that tells you too much. Pretty much every game is like, every level's like that, huh? What are the, what's the chances that I could get this, like, vertical? If it doesn't kill you first, when you win, yeah, when you win, <laughs> when you really win, that's when that's when stuff starts to get awesome. So I hope you can get to that part of the game. It's one of the best parts, if you ask me. Yeah, you don't want to get spoiled. Fair enough. Yeah, hey, thanks for hanging out. I guess I'll see you for witness maybe later. Yeah, thankfully this isn't the main game. I mean, you might if anything, you just might see some mechanics, but thankfully this isn't actually a puzzle in the main game, so... Unless you plan on playing the extended content. I think I've screwed myself. Wow, I can't even get... I can't even figure out how to get Baba as you back. I think I actually screwed myself by putting Baba here. It's like the worst spot for Baba. Oh, wait a second. Oh... Oh, almost. <laughs> I... Yeah, not that extended content, like... Yeah, optional, like... Whoa, I, I got Baba across! <laughs> uh, don't use that, please. The heck? I don't even barely know what I did, but I guess it worked. Ah, uh, see, now this is a problem. Well, maybe not. I would like this to not be at the bottom. 
Okay, so why did I want this exactly? <laughs> that was just so dumb when I did. Like, what the heck? That was just a mess. I can get this sideways, I guess. I forget why I wanted this now. I really would like to get rid of that top one. Ah, uh, not again. <laughs> So what keeps that, what I'd like to do is be able to control Baba without having the empty controlled. That's what I'd really like to be able to do. So can I somehow make this happen with this extra empty tile that's sitting here? Can I find some way to... Can I like get it to the other side? Maybe. Okay. I've got control temporarily. Mm, that doesn't help though. Maybe not. Oh, that was good. That was good. I think. Had this out. Ah, I wish the empty wasn't trapped. Well, maybe this is fine, actually. No, it isn't. I'm gonna be out of is's. Wow, I have to have, like, those two specific rules. Can I somehow get empty as win with this nonsense? Maybe that's why this extra empty is here, just to help me set up empty as win. To me, that's what I should be trying to do. Getting Baba control of Baba doesn't seem like it's gonna help. Like, really, what I need to do is get this is down farther. That's what I'm having a hard time doing. Yep, you were kidding about this being fiddly. Holy cow. Oh um, no. I don't think that Baba word, getting that Baba word stuck on the side was good. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, if anything, it's just like funny that I'm actually able to just. Uh, it's just random chaos. I mean, how would you even optimize something like this? Like for speedrunning, I don't even know. Okay, I mean, have that. <laughs> Even once you do it, do it, it's a pain. Oh, yes, that's for sure. Ugh, what am I doing? Great, now these are together. What I kind of want is... How am I going to do this? It's like I need to get the U down, maybe. Maybe I should try to get Baba to replace the empty up there. What if I can even do that? Maybe. Might actually just screw me, but it would be nice at least to be able to do. It doesn't work, obviously. Yeah, I was I did Flight Academy 1 and 2, but I, I'm a little bit stumped on 3 right now. Also, I don't know if I said it, but yeah, welcome Raiders, if there's anyone still here. This game is insane, as you could probably tell. This stupid win being on the bottom row. How do I get this is down? Both is started on the top, that's the problem. The wind has to stay on the bottom row. And if I don't have Baba is you, how would I ever get that down there? Maybe like push it with an extra text? Might work actually. To get empty above it somehow? I am not good with these kind of puzzles, but. Ah, there we go. Okay, so close. Now I just gotta get this Baba out of my way. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. Um, come on, don't, don't do that to me. Okay, now how do I get this back down there? Oh, the empty's gotta go down too. Crap. Okay, well, fine. Maybe I'll just put that there. Ah, Baba, you're in the worst spot. 
I can't believe I did this, but then Baba is actually in my way. Baba, if you were anywhere else, that would have been perfect. Alright, the actual Baba is in my way. But I have a plan now, at least, for how I might get this down. I think I just want to stick that over there. But I can't do that until I unstick Baba. Okay. Um, I can't move that is now. Unstick Baba, unstick Baba, get out of the way, please. Okay, there we go, finally, <laughs> got him unstuck. So now I think I want to use the other things to push it down. Okay. Empty as win. Empty as win. Please let me do it. Well, at least I got the is down there. Let's just get the is in the position. That mess. Get down there, please. Thank you. Um. Empty is win. Finally. Holy cow. <laughs> yep. I did it. Sheesh. What a mess. Yeah, you were kidding. That's a lot of fiddling around. That was probably the way to do it, I'm guessing. I mean, I don't even know how I got the part where I even got Bob on the left side. That was such a mess that I don't even know if I can repeat that. Yeah, well, I've stared at Flight Academy 2 enough. If I don't solve the next two puzzles in 20 minutes, then I guess I'm going to have a short stream next time. But then again, I'm not at any... I mean, maybe I'll end at this point and kind of try these on my own, because... I've tried both of these on my own, and I don't think it's super likely I'm going to solve the rest. Just yet. But, I mean, this is another empty-themed one. So maybe I'll end Maybe I'll end early today. In fact, maybe I, maybe now would be a good time to show that uh, puzzle that I made. And then maybe next time you guys will have, um... You guys will have, um... Your own puzzles or something to share with me. Puzzle that you made? Yeah, didn't you? Did you see that, Shrugs? Did you not see the puzzle I made at some point? Well, I actually made three. Yeah, you, the one, the empty one. I think you tried it, right? You tried the, um... You didn't try these? Oh, maybe it was someone else then. Yeah, I made some puzzles. Yeah, this one. I don't think anyone solved it, so... <laughs> maybe for... Fun's sake, if you want to... Oh, I made a fourth one. Okay. No, I'm kind of out, out of idea. I could have somewhat out of idea, but... Yeah, this puzzle. This is the one you were having trouble with, huh? So let me show you the way, if you want to see... If you want to see the uh, intended solution, then... <laughs> maybe I'll show that, huh? So it sounds like you had given up on it, huh? Yeah, there, there are some other, the other two fine ones had, uh, those are a bit easier, I think. Yeah, what was the plan here? Okay, so we've got to get rid of these dudes, obviously. Yomp. <laughs> it's funny how it's like a vertical-themed level. So, we got to do boat, well, boat on UFO is open. So that's the only way to get through these monsters. So we're going to have to open them. Alright, so we gotta get both in there. Of course, the problem is that any attempt to push a lot of stuff on, it will just turn empty. So that's why we have these not empties, right? Okay. I could do that easily enough. Get that in there. Oh, I can't step on that. So I guess I should have uh, actually done um, probably a not to do this. So I probably want to be able to do myself as well. So I'm not empty as well. So how do we do not UFO is not empty? Because it's funny, is let's see if I uh What if you can even do uh yeah. That'll make it so I can push it in. And if I want I can just swap these to Ooh, yeah, right, that happens. So the question is how to get them both in, right? I have a challenge here. I want to, I could probably just do not empty is not empty, right? 
There we go. That certainly seems to work. Push you. And now I should be able to open the first one. Yoink! Alright, that's one down. But of course now the problem is where to get another bolt, right? Because I need a, I'm gonna need a second bolt to get rid of that second dude. Well, the only thing we really have that could transform, because we can't transform the UFO, because it will we need that thing still. We need both the UFO and the bolt to get through here. I can't transform myself, obviously, so but I have this empty square here that I could transform, so we have we can use um of course if I try to do normally if I try to do empty is it will complain at me. Because there's a rule over here that bans it, right? So, but uh, what's fun? I could just override that. Override it, nice. <laughs> All right, now I can do empty is. Good old not. Not is always a cool rule. Huh? I wonder. At some point, I made the UFO disappear, and I don't know when that happened. So, <laughs> let's get that back. When did the UFO disappear? Oh, right. I need to deal with the uh, this thing first. Well, I could probably I should probably push it forward. You go in there. Oh, right. It's not going to be empty. Okay, so we got to be careful about doing this. We're going to make sure that I can keep this thing alive. All right. Let's see. How did what was the plan to get this thing out of the way? Cuz I can't just push it forward. I don't have empty space anymore. Let's see. Oh! You're right, yeah, that's a good way to do it. There's probably several ways to do this. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's kind of neat. I don't know if that's how I did it, but it's cool. Okay. Oh, right, but uh... That doesn't get this. So really, I want to, um... I think I want to set this up here. So yeah, how'd you do it? Yeah, and you broke the not empty is not empty part, but that still causes the UFO to disappear, right? How did you, uh... Yeah, but how did you, um... How'd you get the UFO from disappearing during the process? So I have this, right? But now what? Is this what you did, Shrugs? So you have this, right? Is this right, or am I doing it wrong? Okay, and now what do I do? Because even if I have empty as bolt here... I'm gonna lose the UFO in the process. So how did you do it here? So it seems like you actually got pretty far in this. And then you got rid of one of the three most rightmost texts in the line. Huh. Not sure I understand. Because I get rid of these, but that doesn't really help me. Yeah. I'm not seeing how, how that's actually going to work. I'm doing it right. Okay, but I lost the UFO, right? So now what? Did you transform them both at once? Did you turn it into a UFO and a bolt? So yeah, now what do I do, Shrugs? Ah, uh, don't break the left one, okay. Okay, so now what should I do? Oh, so you did it like that. Okay. So I make it vertically. Like something like this. Oh yeah, that actually seems somewhat familiar. I think that might have been how I did it, but I mean I could have I could have also just changed the UFO is not empty, but I think a knot rule or something. Ah, oh, like that. Okay. There we go, that's how you did it. Cool. Okay. Alright, now we 
Get rid of this. Get rid of that. We can do the push. Alright, you go over there. Push you up. Whoops. I need to um make myself um not empty you too. Yeah, what should I do now, Shrugs? What do you think? There's several ways I think I could go about this. But I think what I ended up doing is um just something like this. I just ended up mostly just using knots to to do some of this. So I mean this will allow me to uh get through, I think. Yeah. Now we need to push the bolt forward. Yeah, like I think there's several ways you could, uh, several ways you could use these knots to get through here. All right, well that's one way to do it. And that's how you did it. I think you got up here before. Of course, now the question is now what, right? Well, I'm gonna have to use the uh, all, obviously, because I don't have a star. So this all is the only way I'm getting a star. But if you try to do it the basic way, you just end up with this nonsense. <laughs> to where, yeah, the monsters just end up killing you and you don't actually have the bird left. This is the point where you got stuck, yep. <laughs> well, let's see. So what do you think, Shrug? So, I need dust is all, but the monster's going to kill me whenever I do that. And you notice that I put a not push here, so there's no getting the cloud out of the way either. But, it would be nice. I don't know if you noticed this over here, right? Do you see? Look at this cloud here. Doesn't that seem odd? <laughs> that cluster, that cloud seems a little weird. Why would there be a cloud on this is? Well, yeah, you did notice that. So why was this? Why is this is here? It's almost as if there's something I'm supposed to do with that is. Okay, but of course you notice that we don't have a reference to text, right? Because tech, this text is trapped. We don't have a text word around. But how can we get around that, right? So, hmm, what else, how, how else could I reference text in this puzzle? Empty won't do it, obviously. Not all, yeah, what does not all do? Well, let's see. So in order to do not all, right, one of the problems I've got to experience is trying to get through here, you'll notice that the text just disappears. But I can just fix that by doing this. Bye-bye, dust. And now we need to uh, break this so that it disappears. Bye-bye. All right, we got rid of the dust, and now I can just freely move stuff through. All right, let's see what not all does. <laughs> not all is bolt. Yep, as you can see, not all, because, because yeah, text is actually not included in the all, huh? All includes everything but text, I guess. So not all actually references text. I think that's so cool. That definitely surprised me when I was mixing with this. On the stream after you made this puzzle? Well, I, I knew I learned about it while making the puzzle, right? But I think yeah, I think you um I think you had showed me another all is nothing which used the same used the same similar concept, huh? Because I made this puzzle, then you're like, oh, check out this one, and of course you can see it actually uses a similar concept. But yeah, the not all interactions I think is what actually inspired me to make this puzzle in the first place because I just wanted to see how does all and empty, how does all empty and not react with each other. So that's what this puzzle has kind of been about, like, all empty and its interactions with not. And yep, <laughs> that actually does text. Okay, so the problem is we don't want to transform all the text, right? We just want to transform the text that's on this cloud, so how do I do that? Well, I could use a condition, right? So I could use not all on something. So we're going to go not all on. Okay, not all on what? Well, I don't have the word cloud, so I'm going to have to use a not in some way. On not what? See, this is where you're starting to run into a problem because you're like, well, if I had not tile, that'd be great, but I don't have that either. So I don't want to kill my, I don't want to kill this text. I only want to kill the text up there. So what I really want to do is actually make some more empty space here. How can I do that? Because you'll notice I, I can make two, theoretically two empty spaces here and save two, save like two words, but that's not going to be good enough. I need to save at least three words. So let's see, how am I going to make more empty space in this puzzle? Well, I just need to get these, really, I want to be able to just get these tiles out of the way. I have a push rule right here, so I can push these tiles out of my way. So the most convenient way I found to do that is 
Let's say just not bold, just to, so I can reference the um. Rough bolt on not empty. What does on empty even mean, anyways? I don't even know. I could do something like this. And now I want to be able to push my UFO around too. Because I just want to put things on. Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> I don't even need UFO. There we go. I can just. I, can, I didn't even think about doing this. <laughs> yeah, nothing could be on empty. But look at that. That's funny. It actually, um. This is one way to make some empty space. This is actually different from what I had in mind. What I did is I ended up using the UFO and pushing that around, but <laughs> with this rule, I could actually just make a bunch of empty space by just pushing the text around. So there we go. I can just clear out some space like this. All right, so I cleared out a bunch of space. So now that will allow me to basically preserve my text. So we're going to do... <laughs> That's cursed. That's funny. Yep. That's one way to get the tiles out of your way. Yeah, my original way was using the UFO to clear out some space. So now we have some space to work with. Not all on not Oh crap. Ah, right, let's get it. I don't want not empty as push. That's pretty bad. Get rid of you. Oh great, now empty as push is on. <laughs> no, no more pushing. That's enough pushing. Hopefully I made enough space here to preserve all the important words. Not all on not Bolt. Sure, let's go with that. Is empty. Or whatever I want to turn it into, I guess. Bye-bye! <laughs> and say goodbye to the monster. So, the monster's still going to spawn, but of course you can see that defeat is gone now. Hmm, I just realized that... Well, this is fine, I think. No, actually, I think this, is, I think this isn't good. I actually lost my UFO. What did happen to my UFO? I must have accidentally made empty at some point. See, the problem is, what am I going to transform now? I had my UFO. I was just going to use that, but somehow I lost it. Now I manage that. I can't empty. I could try to do empty is. Maybe I'll try to sandwich this just for the fun of it. Let's try to save as much text as possible. I don't care about that. I might be able to do empty is not if I can save enough of these words. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my UFO, but oh well. Maybe I don't need it. Okay. Um, yeah, this might work. Empty is all. And there we go. <laughs> Ta-da! That was the intended solution. But I guess people that got stuck at one of the steps, huh? There were th I guess that was considered to be more of a hard one because there's three difficult steps. There's getting through that second monster. Then there's the thinking of the fact that, oh, well, I could get rid of that is up there? How could I do that? I guess, and then I guess the end, maybe the other difficult part is figuring out how to clear out space. <laughs> yep, that was the puzzle I made that was essentially spawned from the, um idea of the of the uh not all <laughs> but honestly maybe what i should do for some of these levels is actually instead of having several steps i should just uh make like one puzzle about one concept and then make another puzzle about the other concept but sometimes i just get too carried away with like whoa this is possible i'm totally going to make that part of the puzzle and then you never actually get to finish it because you just get stuck on one of them <laughs> you liked it yeah i'm glad you liked the solution even if the puzzle itself was probably a bit too difficult it seems <laughs> yep and sorry, that's fine. Yep. Hey, as I said, maybe maybe Shock will play it. Then again, Shock's done with Baba, so... That reminds me, Shock's... I have to, I have to see if Shock's gonna play my recurse levels at some point. <laughs> I made those. Those are pretty hard. But there's... there's I guess there's one kind of easy one, and then one pretty hard one, and then one insanely hard one. <laughs> I had fun making recursed puzzles. Yeah, I hope you were able to stream that game sometime, Shrugs. I don't think you streamed on Wednesday, did you? Because I didn't see you there. So if you have more puzzle, make use of it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried about the fact that no one solved it. Yeah, a variant, huh? So that not like not like too many people tried it out, anyways. But yeah, shrugs. I don't know if you if you streamed on Wednesday. If so, I, I apologize for missing it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to set stuff up, huh? 
Are you gonna use a camera? Cause yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable showing my face on. Maybe I should get like one of those uh, PNG tuber avatars or something. Then again, I don't know. Sometimes it looks like just cover the screen. I'm not the best at art either. Yeah, I probably not use a camera. For fair enough. I mean, some people stream without mic even too. But I mean, I feel like talking is kind of the main point of streaming, huh? To be able to talk with people. It's done near Monday. Cool. Maybe I'll see you there. But yeah, thanks for whoever's still in the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks Tree Leaf for the raid, of course. And I guess we'll see. We'll see um, if I can come to one of these streams, huh? I could probably have come to Tree Leaf's stream earlier. It's just that today I was busy with my car, so maybe I'll go stop by her stream before starting mine. Yep. So Baba is not Baba is not end to today. Baba is not done today. Maybe tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I mean, maybe next Thursday. Hmm. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. Maybe I'll, I'll see how much time I have. If I end up being too busy, then I might not be able to stream. I should be able to make some time though. All right. Bye everybody. Bye Shrugs. Bye Carl. Bye whoever's here. I'll see you next week or Friday if you want to see an Architects Expedition. <laughs>